It's always the same thing tau. Rambut ni last one ni lah. It's travel with night time! Ni semangat! I received messages inquiring about the essential things that people need to know prior to visiting Singapore. I understand that it has been a challenge to travel in these pandemic times. So I will try to be as helpful as I can. First of all, before you decide to visit Singapore, I will highly suggest and recommend that you visit this website, safetravel.ica.gov.sg to understand Singapore's um, government regulations upon entering, transiting or even departing from Singapore which I am a little skeptical about because Singapore is still watching its borders like a hawk you know, like an ostrich taking care or looking over the precious eggs something like that okay let's get down to business prior to entering singapore you have to have three things which i know of one a travel insurance that can cover at least thirty thousand dollars in expenses if necessary you will be asked to prove the document that you have a legitimate insurance. Two, a negative PCR test. Now, this is applicable in all countries. So that's not a surprise, okay? So you need to have a negative PCR test within 72 hours of departure. Three, the SG arrival card, SGAC e-service, where you can electronically submit your arrival card up to three days before your trip to Singapore. This is like a health declaration form. Yeah, yeah. so these are the three things. These are the three things that you need to have before you fly off, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, in case you have not or have decided to submit your arrival card upon arrival there is wi-fi in Changi airport so it shouldn't be a problem it should work okay so there's no need to panic if it doesn't work i'm pretty sure the officers there will help you out so this is a long bit next after you have all of those three you must be prepared to take an upon arrival pcr test which you have to pay for. It's about 196 Singapore dollars or equivalent to about 150 USD. Do take note that you will have to wait for the result. So you have to secure a non-residential accommodation. Basically, you have to stay at Changi Airport hotels for 48 hours while you wait. After that, you will be quarantined for 14 to 21 days, depending on which country you fly from. Please check with ICA with this one because like there are a few categories there. So please check ICA.gov.sg. Where will you be quarantined in? In a dedicated facility. Singapore is first class, so expect first class service, which means first class degree burns in your pocket. I calculated and it is an estimated of $2,500 for 14 day stay. You will also have to take another COVID test prior to being allowed to join the community of Singapore. I think um, you have to take another test about three days prior to the end of the 14 days of quarantine. I'm not so sure, but there is a third COVID test. So basically first is before you fly off, second is upon arrival, and third is 
before you're allowed to join the community of Singapore. For returning Singaporeans or permanent residents, you are allowed to opt to stay at home. Gatal. To stay at home. <laughs> However, it requires quite a process. All right. First, you have to declare all of your personal information, your ID, your number, blah, 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 that can confirm your identity. And you must wear an electronic tracking device. They call it electronic monitoring device, but it's basically a tracking device to ensure that you are confined in your own home. Okay? Again, the same thing, you have to take another COVID test upon arrival and three days, at least three days before you go outside of your own home. Transiting through Singapore requires the same deal, except you will be permitted to stay and lounge only in specific areas in Changi Airport. So you're allowed to wait and enjoy Changi Airport first class services prior to your next flight. Now you can only leave the specific areas if you have a confirmed booking with one of the two Changi Airport hotels. And the only way you can leave those specific areas to the hotel is if you are accompanied by an airport officer. Because of the pandemic situation and in order to keep everyone safe and within COVID protocol, travelers and actually everyone in Singapore, um, they have been asked to download a contact tracing app, which is called Trace Together on your phones. So this Trace Together thing, it's to track you like where you are and also to inform you in case of anyone close to you, a family member, a friend, or anyone in the community who have contracted the COVID virus. Also, Trace Together is like a health green code or a passport, which allows you to travel and use the public transports to go to restaurants, to go to bars safely and smoothly. Listen, I understand that some of us some of you guys may be concerned about the privacy of your data or your personal details. It's completely understandable, but you got to weigh the benefits of having this contact tracing in order to manage COVID. We live in a digital era, guys, so stop pretending that privacy is something that needs to be hoo-ha about. It no longer is. Okay, about Singapore. Now, I have done two videos, Singapore part one, where I talked about all of the quite costly touristy spots or things that you can do, see, and Singapore part two, where I talk about all the lovely parks which you cannot miss, and obviously the awesome food that you have to try no matter what. Okay, mm -hmm. so check those videos out. Now, technically Singapore is super safe. It's an island. You will have to think twice before trying some monkey business. There are surveillance cameras everywhere, even in the dumpsters. So, be wise. Weather-wise, Singapore is humid. Please make sure you hydrate yourself. Umbrella is always a good option to have. Always. In your bag. I have a tiny one. Yes, I'm like a machi. But it protects me from the sun. Or from the sudden rain. Okay? Mm. And talking about hydration, Singapore's tap water is completely safe. And clean tasting. It's got like this clean and refreshing taste. So drink up. Mm -hmm. Getting anywhere. We have one of the most convenient, reliable, easy to understand transport system. We have subways, we have buses, all of them are air conditioned. Taxis are okay priced. You can order taxis through Grab. 
but I have to say the prices can be expensive and there's a lot of things as to why the prices of the taxis can be expensive one because of the ERP cost price of comfort everyone knows if you want to get comfortable there is a high price to pay taking the subway and buses are not bad at all seriously guess what Singapore is so small it's walkable everywhere try it it's good for your heart and mine Azan. resume Singaporeans speak English even the Amas and the Akongs do please eh Bikin gerab tau seriously God English is our first language please don't pretend that Mandarin is our only language seriously who do you think we are we have like number one airport the busiest port in the freaking world busiest transport hub one of the top ranking education system millionaires live in our city okay drama drama but that's the thing that i don't understand you know people hear me and they go like wait what you have singaporean of course i am singaporean proudly so thank you very much we are very multicultural because of this we have vibrant cultures and fusions of foods faiths also we complain a lot because we can but we do need to try to tone it down huh? because we have to in order to maintain the peace of racial harmony okay let's work together we are not conventional obviously we do not punish you severely if you break any rule or regulation i mean what open society allows for multiculturalism singapore also our enforcement law is not so stringent we are not the crazy punishing type okay it's overly exaggerated but we do take it seriously when it comes to cleanliness no chewing gums guys no -uh. and for the love of god if you need to smoke please do so in designated areas and of course no drugs huh do you need money in Singapore? Of course, you need the cash. Okay, I'm 50-50 about this one. Singapore is indeed expensive. But if you manage to find rare gems, you can spend little or save a lot. And then you can enjoy top quality quantity food, top quality time, enjoy the man-made nature, the parks, the beaches, the gardens that will not burn such low bunks in your pocket there is a way of finding the rare and cheap part of singapore believe me and you will love it just be conscious of how it can be phenomenally expensive when it comes to eating out buying drinks enjoying partying nightlife whatever that rock your boat nah. I think that should be it. the most important things that you need to know before going to Singapore. If you want to know more about the places or the things that you can do, the food that you can eat, you can check out my other videos. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>